right, guys, uh, we're going to continue on here with the body mounting. We've uh, got our roof and quarters all uh, tied down to the chassis and mounted securely and centered up, so we're good to go there. Uh, we pre-fit the doors earlier. Like I said, we're going to have the whole body put together. So we've got the doors fit, but now it's time to hinge them at the front, latch them at the back. Um, let me give you a start on what we're going to do first is we're going to hinge the front of the door. So if you can uh, kind of take a look here and see what we've got, I'll give you a couple of pointers. So, so on our chassis design, we like to keep, um, we, we kind of position this uh, dash support tube here in line with the front of the door. And it has a, a lot of features that are kind of a benefit. So we're gonna, we're gonna close off and seal this area up with this tube, but we're also gonna hinge off of it also. So if you're, if your chassis is not built like this, if this tube kicks back in an angle, uh, that's okay too. But you'll have to come in with a supplemental tube to hinge the doors off of, which will come down and attach to the rocker panel. So we kind of just use this as a two-fold part. I mean, this, this, is a, this tube is in every chassis, but if you position it right and make it come out to the center of this door, you can easily stub these door hinges off of it, and that's a real nice, clean installation. So. This is our standard door hinge kit, and um, it's it's a very nice. Got three eighths pivot pins in it. They're they're a little bigger than some that you see, but it gives it a nice heavy pivot point that is going to swing the door nice and straight. So the front of these doors have a nice flat area here to hinge off of, and one of the key things to uh, to start with is to spread these out as as much as you can. So the more spread we get on here, the more support we have on the door. So if, if you look at some cars, you'll see the door hinges are six, seven inches apart right here. Well, that, that does, gives you too much leverage against the hinge, and the door is going to want to sag when you open it. And that's the worst thing you can see to open the door and have it drop four inches in the back because there's not enough support up here. So spread these out and get it up here in this area where there's some support and some distance. So you have some gusseting up here that's already built into the door and down here at the bottom it's a lot tougher than it is out here in the center. So spreading these out is, is going to help the door stay straight longer because over time with you opening the door up and closing it and the weight of the window on it, it's going to want to sag if you don't have it hinged right. So we've got our hinges mounted and one of the, the next key feature that you want to do is to get the center line of the pivot points plumb. That means straight up and down with each other. and whatever you do make sure the damn pins are plumb because if you get them off plumb if you get one in or out so if this pin is inward the door is going to open up if it's out it's going to open down so the door will swing down and open up which is just looks asinine if you have to open the door it looks like the door's ready to fall off so if you keep this straight in line so you use a little plumb bob here just to check it and you can put that right on the center of this upper mount and you can see that that's dead on center of that lower mount so that I know that those two are are plumb with each other so when I when I open this door see this thing swings out nice and flat it doesn't look like some piece of shit that the doors falling off of so it's nice and swinging straight out and flat and um, it, it, it's easy on the hinges because everything's pivoting easier and it just fits really nice. So you can also see one of the features of our hinge kit is that the, the bottom hinge has a longer pin than the top hinge. And what that's for, so when you take the door on and off, um, if both pins are the same height, then you have to get them both lined up when you start the door on. With having one a little longer, you can start the bottom one on first and then get the top one lined up so it's easier to, to uh, hinge the door. So when I open that up here and I'm ready to lift it off, when, it, when it's time to go back on, I'll start this one on first and just as it starts on here, then I'll just be able to look at the top one and line it up. So it makes it a lot easier to put the door on and off. And then we've got this little tab here, which is just a lift off stop. And you can see that as I close the door, it slips over that hinge there. So that way, during the run, the door is locked in. The door can't lift up and uh, pop off the hinges. But when I open the door, see it swings clear of that. Now I can easily lift that off. So 
this is what our front door hinge assembly looks like. Now our firewall is going to come over here and close this off, and then we're going to have a little filler piece that comes over here and closes this door off so we don't get any engine compartment, smoke, fumes, fire, or any other liquid bullshit coming through here. So this is the start of the door. So after we've got a roof and quarters mount, we hinge our doors first. Then we're going to cruise on to the back side of it here, and we're going to latch the door. So you can see we've got the door striker tube in here. We've got a, a half inch 058 tube in here and a striker plate and the striker pin. And we've already got our latch installed in the door. And uh, so when I close this, uh, this is going to line up nice and straight with that latch. And these are a double safety latch, so it'll click once and then a second time, just like a factory door will. And then inside here, you can also see this is our standard latch kit, but there's also um, these five screws here are holding in a, a stiffener plate because we want this area to, you know, I see you guys at the track, you slam the door like it's a 67 Fairlane or something. So, you know, we put an extra plate in here so that that'll take some abuse and stiffen this area up. So when you close this, it's nice and solid. And then that plate is actually sandwiched in. You can even see the edge of that plate right here. And it's epoxied in there, and then these screws hold it in. And then this hinge, or the latch, I'm sorry, the latch is, is bolted on top of it. And then once we've got that in there, then we can, we can put our inner door handle in here. So we've got our inner door handle located up here uh, far enough forward so that it's easy to reach on the driver's side. And uh, then there's a rod that runs back to this into the top of that latch. So when that's closed, we can flip that, la that handle back and open that door. So when we're done here, we're gonna have a four inch hole in the window right here where this inner door handle is. And you just reach through and flip that back and open this door up. So <clears throat> we're just getting started on this. You can see we've already fit the door panel. And we've got some nut certs in here. We've also cut out the inside of this door and uh, <clears throat> so that we can have access to it and also lighten it up. But when you get the door from us, this is all filled in. This is all solid. So we come in and lay this out, put a one inch border around it and then hole, <clears throat> hole saw it in the corners and then cut it out. And uh, just so I don't forget about it, the like I was talking about this stiffener um, plate back here, there's also the same thing on the door hinge side. You can see it from the inside there. So our door hinge kits come with this channel it's an aluminum channel and it, it runs, it's one piece, it runs the entire length of the inside of the door and it's epoxied in also and then the hinges are bolted through that. So what that does is, because obviously it's a carbon door so it's still thin up front, but we need a, a channel on the inside of that door to add uh, stiffness to it so that the hinges are mounted on a common plate. And that'll give you a nice solid door mount. If you grab hold of this thing, this is nice and solid mount. I mean, there's no like pulling up and down on it. There's no play in it, no flex, super solid. And even with the window on it, this door will swing nice and straight and level. We've got our doors hinged and latched and we've got our inner door handles in. But uh, one of the things that we uh, need to accomplish here is uh, something to keep the door from opening too far. So we're going to install some, uh, some door stop straps on the inside. Uh, front area of this door and uh, what we want to do is is you can see I've already got this one hooked up now we're still in the process of, of working on this so this is cut long but this is our standard kit here and so we will have this little uh, footman loop attached to the door here and then this little 180 degree loop here that's going to weld to the bottom of this door X and then uh, got this little quick clip and this little buckle adjuster here. So when this is all done, we'll set this length. We're going to leave this long until this car is totally finished. And when we're in the assembly, we'll adjust this and then we'll cut this off and, and heat the end of it. We actually have a little cutter that gets hot and it'll sear the end off of this and keep it from fraying once we have it adjusted. So um, we'll leave just a little bit of tail on there so that you can change the adjustment. But you can see how this works. It's going to come out here and and stop and this kit also comes with a little backing plate similar to um, what I showed you on the door hinges and the and the latch plate in the back so on the inside here there's a, a rectangular aluminum plate that has these holes in it that will be epoxied to the inside of the door so that we stiffen this area up here because you know if the door gets away from you or if the wind catches it or something you don't want it to uh, fracture this part of the door. You can see these inner door panels. These are carbon, so they're they're not super thick. So we want to stiffen this area up right here with a with an aluminum plate. 
but these will get a couple flathead uh, stainless screws in them to hold this on and access it from right here and here. And then when we're done, when you want to take the door off, you'll just drop this hook off and then lift the door off, set it on your door stand, and you're ready to go. When you slip it back on, just hook this up. And when you close the door, that thing will just fold inside there out of the way. You're good to go.